time we were at the Windsor Suites in Philadelphia. This is off the Ben Franklin Parkway. And we have the uh, the room with the kitchenette and queen bed, I believe it's a queen. So here we're at the entryway. You have a ceiling mounted fixture. Um, one thing that is not, this hotel isn't short of is closets. Here's one of the three closets. Extremely deep. This is about the size of my closet, my IT closet at home where all my junk is. So, here's another one here. And if I open this, it's actually coming off the track. I won't open it, but it's another closet. And here's the biggest one of them all. It's a walk-in closet. And you can tell this one, it's got power in it. It's got a light. It's got power in it. So it's got a sprinkler head right in there. So the fire sparks in here. They'll be able to take care of it. And of course, there is some, uh, what looks like some sort of data wiring going through. And I'm looking at the cable mounting they're using. That looks like something I would do at home because I don't have, <laughs> I don't have uh, the staples to go into the wall. But uh, again, uh, the abundance of closets in this hotel is, uh, is amazing. Um, if, you're, if you've got a lot of junk, this is a great way to do it. Um, here's the bathroom. We've, you know, third day here, so it's a little used. Uh, when you come in, it looks a lot better than this, but, uh, here's the shower fixtures. It's an external, uh, piping system, which looks extremely nice. This is kind of how it was back in the day before they figured out or figured out how to put the pipes in the walls. But I think it's very elegant looking. Gives the hotel, uh, a period look. Towels. and a very, very nice uh, sink and vanity. This is a huge sink. And the lighting in this bathroom is, um, I, 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 it's more than amazing. You have, it's not that big of a bathroom, so you have uh, two ceiling mounted uh, fixtures and two vanity lights and the um, um, luminance or uh, the, I'm trying to think of the word for brightness, but it, it's very bright in here and um, you could definitely um, do some great video in here if that's what you desire. There's also a mirror mounted, uh, door mounted mirror for the bathroom. You also have a secondary vanity area. It's uh, I believe a granite countertop. And a little ottoman to sit on, a rolling ottoman. We have another mirror. This place is not short of mirrors or closets. Hello. <laughs> That's Miss Chocolate there. Um, granite countertops with a kitchen. Like I said, this is the kitchenette, so granite countertops. You have a stove, oven, uh, you have the boiler on the bottom, and the convection microwave to match. You have uh, cabinetry, which comes with uh, all of your knickknacks that you need, pots, pans, uh, you get cups, plates. I mean, the place is loaded. You get silverware. So if you, oh, it's a salt and pepper. I thought we left some uh, perishables out. Um, so yeah, it comes with everything you need. This is um, quite nice for a hotel. I mean, uh, you, this is almost like a tiny little apartment. Um, so, and some other things up there bags if you so need it. Actually, that's our bags. Uh, also, when you come here, this will be actually be sitting right here. It comes with a Keurig coffee maker. It comes with bottles of water. Uh, if you know anything about a coffee maker, you should not use tap water because it tears it up. You know, the calcium in the water will eventually tear the seals up. Uh, so they were smart to include bottles of water and I got a couple more for free. They're complimentary. Um, so usually you'll have four. We got an extra one here. We asked for some more. Um, you have a toaster oven, you have dish rags, uh, sponge, all of this comes with it. Uh, and actually you get dishwasher fluid or dishwasher cleaner or whatever, because you actually get a dishwasher and it works. Uh, it's not there for show. You get a, basically a full kitchenette. Uh, also your exhaust fans there. So that is very, very nice. Oh yeah. And a refrigerator and freezer. Extremely nice. 
and all the furniture or uh, appliances almost match. Actually, they all match. This is all GE except for that. That's for that frigid air. But nevertheless, it, it, it all goes together. And it's a very, very nice kitchen. Have your sprinkler head just in case uh, somebody can't cook and they decide to burn down the place. There's enough sprinkler heads in here to put the fire out. We have the bed, which is uh, used, of course, so it's not, you know, all done by housekeeping. Um, today's our last day, so you won't be able to see it all neat, but I forgot to take the video earlier. Uh, very, very comfortable bed. This is um, extremely, extremely comfortable. Um, it almost felt like it was memory foam, but I, I, I don't know. It was extremely comfortable. It sits kind of high, so if you're, if you're short, you're going to, you know, it's going to be a landing for you. Um, <laughs> uh, so over here, you only get one nightstand. Uh, you get a updated uh, uh, clock radio with a iPod or iPhone, like, like current gen lightning connector uh, uh, dock. Um, FM, AM radio uh, has an aux capability for your 3.5 millimeter jacks. You can even plug in via USB and it will play your music through the speakers via USB and charge the device at the same time. So this one is definitely um, a newer um, dock. Um, so it, 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 it definitely works. You have your lamp here. You have two sockets there. Your nightstand which has your Bible and I think a flashlight, I'm not sure. And your heating unit here and your climate control is over here. You have an armchair, which is actually clean. Some hotels are not clean. They're like full of pet hair and God knows what. We've got breakfast that does not come with the hotel. <laughs> you actually have to pay for that. that. That's not complimentary. That's what I meant to say. Um, but we have this amazing view. We're on the 13th floor and we're looking down Ben Franklin Parkway. That is a f that is the free library there. And that, I don't know what that building is over there, but I believe they're condominiums. But if this uh, hotel, this other hotel here, which is the Embassy Suites wasn't in the way, we would be able to see the beautiful art museum of Philadelphia. The Sheridan's over there. Subway's down there. And JFK Boulevard, I believe, is right there. Actually, that's not JFK Boulevard. I apologize. JFK Boulevard is behind us. So you get a really, really, really nice view, even from the 13th floor. And it's a very, very, very nice day in Philadelphia. Some rooms, as you can see, you get a kind of a balcony thing. We didn't get that, but it's the winter, so we really don't need it. So when you go in the room, when you first come in, this will be sitting on the dining room table. This will be in an envelope, of course. And this is a handwritten note saying, we hope you enjoy your stay, this, that, and the other. And they give you a free thing of peanuts, notepad, telephone, sweet news. Con Murphy's is a pub. Their food's actually pretty good. Um, you get a discount when you're at the hotel. So breakfast is $10 flat for each person uh, if you're staying at the hotel. You can get that from Con Murphy's. They actually deliver. They're pretty quick most of the time. <laughs> no, they're pretty quick. Um, I would recommend staying here, and I would recommend eating at their uh, restaurant slash pub. Uh, you get a, I believe it's like a 32-inch TV. Works out great. The sound's good on it. Um, so we're watching movies on that. You get plenty of lamps with plenty of sockets. You have your uh, dresser set. And that is just about it. So I'll go ahead and just do a a quick walkthrough so you can kind of get a first person experience of what this place offers. I'm not sure if all these rooms come with kitchenettes, but uh, I struck gold with this one. that's it so I'll actually put the address for this hotel at the bottom of this video or in the description and you can actually go on Expedia check it out or just watch this video I might include some pictures but uh, 
Would I recommend staying here? Absolutely. The elevators, you'll notice when you get on the elevators, they're not huge like, you know, the Lowe's or some other places you've been, but they've got plenty of elevators. They're pretty quick. And uh, the customer service is top notch. Um, and uh, there's plenty of restaurants around the edge. There's, like I said, the art museum's that way. You got the free library. Um, the Franklin Institute is about that same direction. It's right behind the art museum. Uh, you got, we're actually gonna go biking later and there's a place where you can rent bikes that's right behind the hotel. I mean, there's a million and two things to do. So, uh, oh, <laughs> check this out. There is a soccer field on top of this building over here. I don't know what it's called, but there is literally a soccer field over there and they're playing a the game. So, you know, there's there's just, there's 102 things to do in Philadelphia. So come down to Philadelphia and stay at the Windsor Suites. I think this is a pretty good place. And if you get it as a package deal, it comes even cheaper. So thanks for watching my review and have a good one.